Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today, we will discuss about different type of ferry apps. So, there are three kind of apps are available. That is, transactional apps. The second one is analytical apps. Third one is fact sheet. Okay, so if we speak about transactional apps, for example, in ECC system, we will use the T code VA01 to create an order and VL01 to create a delivery, right? And VF01 to create the billing documents, right? So these central transactions. Similar way in Fury also, we have some apps are available. You see here, create sales order. It's an app to create an order. If you click this one, we, have, we can create that sales order. Okay, in my system, there are some issues. But anyways, let's understand the functionality here. Similar way, there is a one more app available to create the billing documents. Right? And you see one more here, create outbound deliveries. So these are all the examples for the transactional apps, which will be used to create some transactions in the system. Okay, create sales order, create billing documents, and create outbound deliveries. Similar way from uh, HR point of view, approving the leave, leave request, creating the leave request, right? Like this, we have so many transaction apps are available. And the second one is that we have the analytical apps. See, so basically, these analytical apps are used to identify the key performance indicator of a particular object. And these analytical apps will use that potential and efficiency of the HANA database. Okay, the main reason of these analytical apps is to provide business the insights. Okay, so with the help of this app, we can provide the insights of that to business. Okay, in the background, there are a lot of coding has been done to display like this so the best example for analytical lab apps are sales order fulfillment so in my system this app i mean in my very launch pad i don't have this app available that's why i'm not able to display this one now Okay, so sales order. See, I don't have that app now. Okay, so and uh, if I show you the screenshot which I took from the browser, if you see here, this is that example of sales order fulfillment app. So it will give you the uh, graphical representation of that particular object. So if you take the customer, right? So we can analyze that uh, how many sales order or billing document has been created by that customer in a month period. What's that value of that order or billing documents, right? Like this, we can get an uh, analytics of that particular object in no time. For that only, we have this kind of apps. Okay. And the last one is that fact sheet. Remember that transactional and analytical both are apps okay in a free launchpad we can see a tile for that applications are available for that coming to fact sheet there is no app available here so it refers to fuzzy search okay it refers to fuzzy search okay so for example here i have entered sales order now when I enter sales order and click enter, you uh, we are getting three apps here. Similar way, I can enter the order number here and click enter means 
I will get the data. So currently, I am not getting any data here due to that uh, setup needs to be done. Okay. So to activate that fact sheet, there are certain roles and uh, configurations needs to be done. As that is not done in my system, that's why we are not able to see any data or any results when we search something like this here. Okay, if I search sofa, for example, if I enter the material, material as sofa here, I will get all the data relevant to the sofa. So wherever the sofa has been used, order number, a delivery number, or material must anywhere wherever it is used, I will get all the data when I search here. So this search will be used in case of app search as well as the data inside that app. And uh, I can give a search for the customer number also. So I can do anything here. Okay, the search not relevant to any apps. It's relevant to everything. Everything in the database system. I can search here. If I show you the example for this one, and if you see here, if I enter the order number 83 here, I will get this screen. And from here, I can keep on navigate to other objects. If I click this uh, business partner digital link, I will it will redirect to the customer master, BP customer master, it will open the screen. And if I click this material, it will open the material master. Like this, I can keep on navigate from one to another place. Right? So these are the main three apps are available. I mean, two are apps, three is not an app, it's a search only. Kind of a Google search engine. Okay, for this, a big conversion needs to be done, roles needs to be taken care, and uh, business object needs to be activated, and a web dispatcher should be installed. So many things need to be done here. Okay, so these are the main three apps that we need to understand in case of theory. Okay, fine, friends, that's it from this video. We can catch up in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks, everyone.